Hi everyone, this is Grace, and this is my second week of eating the pre-prepared food for the whole week's experience. And this is my second week, and I go with this brand, Daily Harvest. This is the brand that touches me all the time on Instagram, so I think last time to really try. Um, this is what I got from the box. As you can see, there's a lot. There's a couple more even in the box. I just feel this is good enough for presentation purpose. Um, I think I like that brand a lot about the design, the simplified of the, the boxing stuff, and it's just very, feel like very, your life is very easy and simple. There's no brainer needed. And I like the way they're using just a bolt bond to demonstrate what is inside. Um, that's really kind of inspired me to get started. And I, I do order a lot of bowls rather than smoothie, although I know Daily Harvest is famous for smoothie. But I'm a person looking for return of investment, so I can't convince myself to have eight dollars smoothie. But I can say I can have like eight dollars dinner. That's totally fine. So that would be my personal preference. Actually, what's your preference? Would you like more smoothie or more bowls? Um, I also want to go a little bit bold. I have very very high expectation about this flat uh, this flat bread, and I really want to give it a try and see how it tastes. Um, that would be my whole experience of um, Daily Harvest. I like how lightly they were packaging it. I like the design uh, of the box and you know, they just feels very hearty um, and healthy actually. So I'm very, I'm very excited to get started with and share you more. Hi everyone, welcome. This is my first meal of Daily Harvest for a whole week. And I start with this mango and pineapple drink over here. Um, I want to talk a little bit about how I selected this drink or many drinks I selected is when I browse in their website, I can see some of the fruits is more common to get, some of them is more rare, of course the price is different as well. And I also notice some of them is have like usually come with a large portion of the market. For example, the pineapple, um, it's also hard to prepare. And the little box one is much expensive, so there's a lot of brainer work actually I'm doing by selecting the fruit um, besides only like flavor, um, the nutrition values and everything was in my mind and I think it's a very good experience because those fruits really have in my like daily routine and I nice to have it um, in this experience. And the second thing I find is really nice if you consider to add some milk, almond milk or coconut water, rice milk to the smoothie itself. Um, I personally feel like because the heaviness of the um, the milk is actually um, prevent the drinks from like different layers after a few minutes. Um, I think that's really good. Also definitely enhance the flavor. Um, the third tips I have is actually grabbing uh, whatever smoothie you want for the next days from the freezer to the top shares so it's actually much easier to blend you don't have to wait for the uh, ice to melt and it actually takes so many so long to melting to a blender ready uh, version so i would recommend prepare one night ahead of time and my last tip is also my favorite one is as you know daily harvest does not come with any straw and I'm not sure how many of you are still using plastic straw, but this one, this like stainless straw, is absolutely my favorite. Um, it's good for the environment. It feels very luxury. It's actually also a lifetime product. I can't think of any use cases I'm going to break it. Um, when I talk about luxury, just to put it on your lips and you feel the coldness transfer from the bottom to top. And you already build this expectation of consuming this lovely bottle. So that's why I really like it. Um, I think it's carried by many uh, for many like uh, companies. I have a link for Amazon, so I will just link it down below here if you're interested. And let me know how you feel about it. And yeah, that's my first uh, meal with um, Davy Harvest. I'm happy about the quality for now and looking forward for the lunch and dinner. Hi everyone, today is my first day of daily harvest. Um, I have Brussels and Pie Tad. 
As you can see the cooking image I have in here, when I cook it, I find the sauce is actually in separate um, block. Basically, if you don't want something strong, you can toss out one of them away. And I reuse uh, the box from the original bottle so I can save some time washing the dishes. And this is how it look like. Um, my room is very nice. She cut some watermelons to pair with that. And I'm going to go ahead and enjoy it. Hi everyone, today I'm going to have this cauliflower rice and kimchi. Um, as you can see here, the kimchi also comes with this little uh, boxed sauce kind of format. And you, I believe you can remove them if you don't want it to be so savory, but I really like kimchi, so I'm going to enjoy it all. I even consider adding some, um, you know, fried eggs on top of it to make it more like Korean uh, looking and feel. Uh, I'm going to share you more after I done. Oh my friends, please take a look at this. Yes, I did a fried egg on top of it. I also uh, garmented with some like cilantro around. It looks so good now. That's something I like about Daily Harvest is they make everything presentable from the website, from their, you know, for their product, from the surface of the product. And we actually cook it still. The color is very, it's just very attractive. Like the food itself is so so good on the in real time and you know in images and everything i really i really enjoy how aesthetic they are and i'm going to dig into that look at this little egg over here i'm going to blend it very well with the kimchi car flower okay i'm going to get started and it smells really good tastes very promising too um because they are vegetable only so there's no meat in daily harvest i think they are their flavor is very bold considered to you know just uh, veggies and i do think there's a good idea to add some like eggs or any protein that if you're really craving for meat even some tofu would be very helpful to complete the meal and i really enjoy it so far i'll let you know my next meal Hello everyone, um, this is my dinner for daily harvest. Uh, today is my second day and as you can see today I'm having this harvest bowl, tomato, carrot flowers and butter squash. Um, what surprised me is when I turn over and I see the calories only 230, so that's very surprised. Um, I do craving something bigger than just a harvest bowl, so I have to admit I add some um, tofu skin over here. Um, but I also feel like if you really need proteins, you can blend in um, fish, egg, and shrimp, any protein sauce that uh, would work very well. I just dice them up with small pieces and just chop it all together. Um, I really like the idea David with half, that is um, everything comes with one bowl, it's so easy to clean up and you don't have to prepare different pots and clean them up and adjust the oven temperatures for everything. Um, and nutrition-wise, it looks pretty good for me. Um, I also pair that with some Rainier cherry. So that would be my dinner for today. It smells really good. I already got one bite. I'm happy with bulk flavor and I'm going to dig into it. Hi, today is my first soup of daily harvest. And this is what they have in the soup. Since they have black garlic and something remind me was a, you know, black garlic um, pork noodle. So like the ramen style. So I really actually craving for that. And I do prepared a bowl of soup, just pour in to enhance the flavor of the soup. And I'm ready to get started. This will probably take around um, six minutes from the instruction, and I'm looking forward to share you how it tastes. Hi everyone. Um, so the food is ready. I'm just waiting here to see the food get a little bit cool down um, and ready to serve. I really like the flavor. Even I can smell. It smells so good. Um, this is the packaging again. This minstrel soup. Um, I really like the authentic flavor, just like how I like the, the kimchi harvest bowl before. 
um, they use very simple vegetables repeatedly as cucumber, zucchini, kale, but they do did a really good job at differentiated flavors. So I can see the soup has a very high quality, tastes like a restaurant ready soup. Um, just because how light it is for me, uh, I decided to pair that with bread. Um, I could have a better choice for bread, but that's just my regular, um, my breakfast bread usually. And I think this is 100 calorie with a soup that is 210, add up together like 310. If you do um, prefer add a little bit protein to soup, I think still it won't be more than like 400 calories. And it just go very well together. Um, the flavors was like, mixed with the soup and everything was very coherent as one one bowl um so far i really enjoy having daily harvest i think i just like the experience to seeing all the vegetables look so green um last week i did the challenge for um fresh and lean and my complaint is their vegetables not green um uh, just because it's like I don't know, like maybe there's so many potatoes or there's so many root fruits instead of like, you can see the kale over here is so bright. Um, that's something I really like that I like food that feels less like a frozen food or like, like um, pre-prepared food is like um, made ready for you to eat kind of feeling. So, so far I, I really like daily harvest and the variety of harvest ball and soup. Um, but I will let you know, since this is only halfway there, I still have, um, halfway, um, meals with stay harvest and I will see will they keep surprising me or I will feel disappointed by the end. Um, thank you. I will see you very soon. Hi, this is my dinner for today. This is a sweet potato flatbread. As you can see here, it comes with a, a box instead of a bowl. And I decorated the table a little bit and took a lot of like fun photos just to share. And I'm very excited to get started. This is actually the first bread I have is daily harvest. And if we took at the calories, this one is 200 calorie half serve. That means this one comes with 400 calorie. It might be the heaviest one I have for daily harvest. But still, it's not bad. I mean, like 400 is okay for me. Um, actually tracking my daily calorie burn, it depends on if I take a walk or not. It's usually around 1600 to 2000. So this is good for me, you know, like having some, some carbs and also actually craving for carbs recently um, because all this like low calorie food. Um, so yeah, I'm very excited to get started and I'll let you know how I feel about it. Hi friends, today is my day for day harvest and I'm going to have the butternut squash and the chimney curry. Um, I'm very excited to have this one because it also has mushroom inside of it. So when I microwave it, I already feel the flavor and very excited to get started. Um, something different today is that instead of using a stove top, I use a microwave. So I also add chicken soup on top of it. Um, two minutes, stir it another two minutes or so four minutes in total. And the food is ready, like this. Yeah, everything comes with one bowl. So compared to other pre-preparing food, um, this one, you don't have the, you know, one side for vegetables and grain, and then the other side is meat, that kind of traditional combination. It's actually just one thing all together. Um, something interesting about daily harvest is I don't feel I'm very tired of the flavor or I feel bored about it. Um, although they do have repeating ingredients, um, for some reason though, I don't feel I get tired of it. I don't know why. And another good news is it's only 340 calories, so it's much lower than the other pre-preparing food. Um, but because it's high fiber, maybe I don't feel hungry uh, in between meals, so I can still stick with it um, without snacking. That's pretty good, and that will be my day four feedback for daily harvest. Um, I'll let you know how I feel in general in my last video. Hi everyone! So today is my last day of daily harvest. In general, I like the experience. If I'm going to give a rating, I will say 4.4 out of 5. As you may see, this rating is slightly higher than what I gave for uh, Fresh and Lean. And here's the reason. 
I think first of all, I really enjoy the both flavor, like the curry and kimchi. It's really something I can have for other prepackaging food, which is a little bit on the plain side. And other things, I really like the variety of the food they have. Um, surprise me that they have a kale, they have um, other like diced up vegetable that I can really rarely find or like hard to cook by myself. Mm, so that's all the pros. Regarding to the improvement area, I think first of all is the general value because it's all frozen. It's not like you put in the top shelf of your refrigerator. And I believe companies actually save money in inventory. I wish they could give back to the customer as well. Um, and other things, I still feel a little bit starving um, from the food I have. I constantly need to add on more shrimp or eggs or chickens and tofu, other proteins to make sure I don't feel starving that much. So that's another thing to uh, consider. Um, so okay, that's my all review for Daily Harvest. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it's helpful. And I'm looking forward to see you in the next video. Bye. Thank you.